Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry. And today I'm going to show you how to hook your PlayStation 4 controller up to your Windows PC and use the built-in Steam controller drivers in order to use it while playing games on the Epic Game Store, including in Fortnite. So the simple answer is all you have to do is add Fortnite to Steam through its library, because you can add non-Steam games to your library, you know, normally. And then also connect the controller up wirelessly to your computer for convenience. You can also plug it in, but I'll show you how to hook it up wirelessly. So to hook it up wirelessly, you're gonna wanna open up your Bluetooth and other devices settings inside of your Windows 10 and 11 system settings. You can just look up Bluetooth in the search bar if you want. And once you've got a little menu that looks a lot like this, you're gonna want to grab your controller and press and hold the PlayStation and the share button until the light bar on the back starts to flash rapidly. Once it does, you can click on this little plus symbol at the top of this window, click on add a Bluetooth device, and then it should show up as a wireless controller inside of this list. Uh, I think it's this one. Hopefully that's not my pro controller, which I was just fiddling with a moment ago. But it doesn't say pro controller, so I think we're safe. And then once we're done with that, we can minimize this window. And then we can add the Epic Games Launcher to our library. Now the trick here is you have to completely close the Epic Games Launcher inside of your computer before you try to connect it to Steam. Otherwise, it'll not work. It'll already be launched and it won't register that Steam's drivers are trying to work on its behalf. So let's go ahead and go up to the top of the window here to games, add a non Steam game to my library, and I'm gonna type in Epic. I'm gonna select Epic Games Launcher, add selected program, and it appears over here in the sidebar. There won't be any like pictures or anything because again, this isn't connected to Steam. This is an external third party launcher. From here, I'll click play, and this will reopen up and launch Epic Games. And now Steam has got their overlay on top of Epic stuff so that you can utilize your controller drivers. And then I'll just go ahead and I'll launch Fortnite and we'll see if the controller works properly. Okay, so my controller is properly controlling everything. It does not display the PlayStation buttons because that would require the Epic Games or even Fortnite to have already had PlayStation controller support, but despite being, you know, A, B, C, or whatever, or like the Xbox buttons, you can still control everything with the different keys and the joysticks and everything, so it'll work. So huzzah. So let me go ahead and pop out of here. Let me just close Fortnite. So yeah, that is how you can hook up your PS4 controller to the Epic Games Launcher and play all of your games by using Steam. It's a little bit of a janky workaround, but it does get the job done. And it's especially nice if you only have a different third-party controller and you'd like to use it inside of other launchers rather than having to go out and buy an Xbox controller. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.